We are now joined by Dr. Nikolaus von Bomhardt. He is chairman of the board of management of Munich Re and speaker at this year's St. Gallen Symposium. Mr. von Bomhardt, thank you very much for granting us some of your precious time. The last time you were at the St. Gallen Symposium was in 2007. Has people's perception of the risks they face changed within the last five years? Uh, for sure it has, I, I suppose, and not only in fact for the financial crisis, but also for the natural catastrophes that we have experienced over the last year. So I think the pendulum has swung from a relatively risk-prone and open society to a rather risk-averse society. A lot of so-called black swan events have occurred in the last few years. How does a re reinsurance company go about dealing with these risks in our globalized and complex world? Well, I think for a reinsurance company, the so-called black swan event is rather a, matter, a daily affair because that is what we live from, in quotes, and we always work with the fat tail of the distribution in the first place because this is what tends to be overseen. And our clients who buy reinsurance try to protect themselves exactly against these rather remote risks. But for reinsurance, this is daily business. Munich Re was not hit as hard as other competitors by the recent financial crisis. Can you explain why this is and what your key factor of success was? I think we have been hit like many, maybe a little less. And we are not all through the crisis yet. What I think helped in the last years was the focus on the liability side of the balance sheet. So we tried to create the value by managing insurance risk and try to be less risk open when it comes to the asset side of the balance sheet. So the management of the asset was very conservative. Munich Re is the biggest reinsurer in the world. At this year's St. Gallen Symposium, a key opinion has been voiced that Western societies have increasingly become risk averse. Are Europeans really more likely to avoid risks than Asians, for example? I don't think this is a matter of nations or even regions or continents. It's rather sometimes a matter of experiences and it's sometimes maybe a matter rather of a societal class. But I would not say that in general Europeans are less risk or more risk averse than people in Asia or in the United States. It depends. You are dealing full-time with risk management. Has your personal attitude towards risk-taking changed during your time at Munich Re? It did change in fact, but I'm not sure to what direction. So it goes back and forth and of course you have to be very cautious not to overreact to a personal experience and then make that, if you like, the paradigm for your future handling of risk or a crisis even. So you need people to talk to to recalibrate your own risk aversion all the time, but of course we are on a learning curve and it will not end. Dr. Verbaumhardt, thank you very much for your time and enjoy your stay at the St. Gallen Symposium. Thank you. You're welcome.